Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. In today's video, we are going to be going over the brand new Game Informer leak. So Game Informer has just released a bunch of new information in regards to Rise of Iron, and today I want to talk to you about the major changes coming to the artifact system in Destiny come September 20th when the Rise of Iron launches. So, as we know, artifacts today don't really do too much except increase your light levels just a little bit, and they do increase your intellect and discipline or whatever rules you have on it as well. But with the news change to the artifact system coming with the Rise of Iron, these artifacts will be doing a lot more. So now each artifact from the game will have a game-changing ability attached to it. So for instance, one offers the ability to take away your super completely, so you won't be able to use your super at all, except you'll be able to use two grenades and two melees. That's going to be one pretty ridiculous artifact in the game, and that's just one of them. There will be eight new artifacts to be earned within the first eight weeks of Rise of Iron. Each single week there will be one new artifact to earn throughout the week. Now the way this is going to be working is there's going to be a new character just like we've seen before for plenty of new Destiny DLCs. I'm sure we'll be meeting them very shortly upon starting the new DLC. But either way, this person is going to be able to give us new bounties in the Plaguelands just like the Queen used to back on Earth when we would have to go and kill those clusters of enemies that would spawn from the ships, and then there would be a Scorch Cannon to pick up. I'm sure a lot of you do remember that update. So instead of Eris Morn, this time we will be meeting with Tyra Karn. She will be the one giving us the bounties to go out into the Plaguelands and to complete those bounties, and upon completing those bounties each week, we will receive one of these new artifacts. So like I said, these new artifacts have some pretty game-changing abilities attached to them. So basically the way that these artifacts are going to work is there's going to be 8 artifacts named after the 8 Iron Lords. So each one that is the artifact is named after will have an ability just like that Iron Lord. Just like the Yolder's Hammer back from Year 1 Destiny. A legendary Iron Banner machine gun that came out back in Year 1 named after the Iron Lord. So there will be most likely a Yolder's artifact now coming very soon with the Eyes of Iron. Now this artifact is pretty ridiculous because it actually eliminates your sprint recharge delay so you can basically just run forever you don't have to have that delay in between runs you can just run and then run again instantly whenever you want so these artifacts are going to be bringing some pretty major and ridiculous challenges and changes to the trials of osiris you can only imagine how everyone's going to be reacting to these new artifacts once that comes out i'm honestly really hyped for this change this is going to be a really amazing change to crucible it's going to change everything honestly trials of osiris i don't think it's going to be the same once these artifacts are introduced and i can only imagine the reload cancel on that no land beyond without any sprint delay so let me know what do you guys think about these big changes to the artifacts this is honestly just a huge game changing thing and i kind of really can't wait to test it out especially in trials of osiris so let me know what you guys think about them in the comments and if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe i'm going to be covering everything rise of iron especially over the next couple days with all the information leaking but other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you guys very shortly. Peace.